Testing video one. Testing video one. Tester, tester, tester. Do I need to bring this mic closer to my face? Let me know. Gang. Yo, what's good, you two? You already know what it is. It's a life. It's a tear in this bitch. You already know how we rock. Today, we gonna go over the five shits that really I went through in my first year as a music artist. Like, five things that really took a toll on me my first year as being a music artist. So, like, Today we're gonna be going over five shits. Ignore the room. I got I'm in a different room right now, you feel me? We low key blazed out, so like this gonna be a cool little yeah video. And I'm gonna get y'all rocking with all the shits, you feel me? So let's turn up, let's turn up. If you like the video, go ahead and like it, you feel me? We're gonna get into it. I ain't even gonna rush y'all. I'll let y'all know in the end. Love y'all, let's get it. For sure. Yeah, y'all. I just want y'all to know, like, I'm going out the dome with this shit, because this is really, like, the raw shit. Like, I'm so dead ass when I speak this shit. Like, this is what really nigga went through when all that shit was going on, you feel me? So, this is what we gonna be explaining and talking about and shit. Ignore nigga, look, ignore all that shit. Had to bring y'all a little video. Had to crank it up for y'all. So, yeah, we gonna run this up. And I'm gonna let y'all know about this shit. Let's get into fact number one for real, bro. The first year. Y'all, I'm working this shit on a stream setup, so, yeah, this is on a stream setup, so I ain't doing no cuts, this shit finna be all raw, no edits. Uh, fact number one for real, my first year going through as a music artist, no bullshit, a nigga, like, didn't post, I would not fucking post my music, like, cause I would give niggas my shit, like, very first songs, cause coming from me, I had to do all my production myself. Nigga had to record it. Nigga had to produce it. You feel me? Like, like engineer my own shit and learn from the ground. Like, I ain't had no fucking executives. None of that shit. Never had it. Nigga still haven't had it. Like, you feel me? Like, no real studio. This is all out the gut. Like, straight out the, the basement. So, I just would not post my music. Like, and everybody was like, you need to drop some shit. But show people your music. I didn't want to. I wouldn't even post that, like, on Instagram. I wouldn't. Like, <laughs> real shit. That shit is like nerve wracking. I didn't post to like my six month rapping. Yeah. And then it still wasn't fucking with it. Like, that's what fucked me up. Cause I ain't used my full potential for it. I was lagging on some bullshit. <laughs> Fact number two demotivation. Big ass part. Like, I ain't had no motivation with my music. Like, Cause I didn't share it, you feel me? That goes with number one. That's why this ain't number one. Cause look, with me not sharing my music and not giving people my shit and not letting other ears hear it the right way, it made me only hear my shit and critique myself and compare myself to others, you feel me? Which is another wrong, which will be in the next and a few later, you know what I'm saying, on the terms. But yeah, like, fucking, I ain't want to get up and record. I ain't want to get up and do this shit. I ain't want to do the videos. I ain't want to do none of that shit. I was like fucking scrapped up. Like I do a song one night and I look. I record every day for a whole week straight, and then the next week coming, I won't record one day and be like, damn, I don't do enough. Like it just be shit like that. Like, Little ass shit as an artist, bum ass shit. Like a nigga, that shit held me back. Like I could be way far if I'd have just seen where I could be, like where I see now. Like, but it's all it takes to do time. So, like, now that I'm into my first year and going into a year and a half with this rap and shit, I really see now that, like, it's all based on you, you feel me? You got to be the brand. You are, like, my spiritual, I had to work on my chakras, you feel me? It's a lot of shit. And it's just learning. I mean, you learn from scratch by Dolo and just watching YouTube videos and having to join discourse and a whole bunch of crazy shit. It's a whole different vibe. My bad, yo. I told y'all no cuts. I ain't gonna add that shit. This is a stream shout out. This ain't in my room. So y'all need to know. Check me out. <laughs> Comparing myself to others. That's number three. Hey, that's demotivating as fuck. You feel me? They all fall in line. Even the first time I recorded. It was like, this shit hard. Oh, like the first, the very first shit I did. They was like, this bitch is so hard, please drop this one. I wouldn't. And like, that wasn't even better than the shit that I recorded after. The 
person was like the best one for a while. And them niggas was like, you need to drop your shit. But I just kept making music and keeping it to myself and not putting my full effort into it and not doing the most that I should do to it. Bullshitting with my music. Fuck me up. But let's move on to fact number four because this shit gonna go quick. It's really just like life. Like how else do you explain it? I don't like looking at that in them draining times because that shit really down. But to speak to another artist and tell y'all like, this is how y'all get out of that, you feel me? Like, y'all know what I went through, so don't go through that, you feel me? I see it now. This is why I can speak it off the head and I didn't write no notes in my phone. Like, for real, like, it all fell in line. What comes after fucking comparing myself to others? What? What comes after comparing myself to others? Please tell me. Number four. Too worried about finding my sound for the first year. Like when your first year making music, you're not supposed to be worried about finding your sound and doing like. You feel me? Just drop your shit. It's gonna it's gonna get you there. You feel me? Just drop your shit, nigga. Don't worry about. Don't worry about my sound ain't there yet. I gotta find my shit. You're gonna find it. Just keep dropping. Just keep making more. Keep going. What the fuck is you talking about? You gonna find it? Of course. It's gonna come. But like. Don't doubt yourself, nigga. You're gonna find your sound. But it's gonna be easier for you to find your sound if you keep dropping more. Nigga, if I'd have had 30 songs by now, if I'd have dropped last year, that's the truth. But how do I get 30 songs this year? Fuck it. <laughs> we on the last one, nigga. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Number five. Could really stand over all the ones on the list. Cool. Hold on. Anything. It could be the last one. But number five is procrastination. I think it goes the most with number two or some shit. But like, number five is procrastination. Like, with not dropping the music. But it was like, I didn't have for. Like, it was procrastination while it wasn't procrastination. Like, I would take a break, or I would take a two-day break, and then get back to the recording, you feel me? And keep going, keep going, keep going. But I looked at it as fuck this, like depression. Like, it was just a whole bunch of procrastination in there, like laying down in bed, like, fuck, I can't learn this shit. Cause look, this is what I really should've did, was do the research on the shit while I was doing it. Cause now I do the research on the shit while I'm doing it, and learn as I go. At that time, it was just like, do the shit, don't worry about learning nothing, just stay in the same place. I wasn't trying to learn, I was just trying to do. You feel me? I didn't want to learn at the point. It was procrastination from learning. It was fucking deceasing. I promise y'all. Like, I ain't worried about it no more. That's the five things. Like, that, that really took a toll on me in my first years making music. as a rap, you feel me? But I got a status, and if you look up just a tail on Google, here I go. So, if you enjoyed the video, if you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Y'all already know what it is. It's gonna be a nice, hot ass satire summer for the rest. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You already know what it is. It's a tip. Get ready for the new music. Dropping all the links in the bio. I got Twitter now. I got fucking Reddit. All oh, that shit. We up. TikTok. Go get all my shit. I'm doing fucking. Reels on Instagram now, go get everything. Love y'all. See y'all soon. All right. In the discussion, just up and coming. We fed a rally's color immigrant. My father said I'm nothing. My city foreign and militant. I come from out the jungle. Concrete with bougie bricks. It really looked like something. I was just chilling and serving them lows back. When I was a senior, I had the rubber bands and I had a dirty blow sick. I swear.